Okay, guys, uh, welcome to your uh, energy check-in for Pisces. This is going to be for the second half of your January from the 16th to the 31st. Uh, you could uh, apply this to any replacements because this reading could be about anything. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So um, we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for... Um, the second half of your month and then we will see what the possible outcome and advice are what else you guys need to know look out for work on apply this to your own unique situation keep in mind that these are general messages take what resonates and leave the rest behind if this message didn't resonate with you take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post uh give this video a thumbs up like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Pisces people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below, all right? So tell me about uh, Pisces. Overall energies for Pisces, what is surrounding Pisces, what does Pisces need to know, what can Pisces expect for the second half of their January from the 16th to the 31st for Pisces. Let's see. All right, we have the three of pentacles in the reverse. There's something that you're, you're doing here or something that you're working on with other people here, maybe with yourself. Something's not working out here. You could be dealing with the situation, maybe in a work situation, that you're dealing with people that are not team players here. And I feel like with the Sun card and the uh, Hangman here, I feel like you're starting to realize that this is coming to light or that, that you're catching on here. Because I'm getting like there's a situation that you're in, it's kind of like a sabotaging energy here. You know, maybe someone here is trying to one-up you, trying to beat the, you know, I'm getting a very competitive um energy here and like i said I, 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 and i feel like this is coming to light here okay the uh, king of swords libra aquarius gemini the hangman piscean energy the sun card leo energy um seven of cups king of wands here aries leo sagittarius energy one of the things i'm getting here is that you know i feel like a, you know i feel like you know some of you guys are getting like massive intuitive hits here like i feel like you guys are having visions and stuff like that okay you guys are able to travel through different realms in your meditation in your sleep or something but you know with the three of pentacles there's something that's not working here for you maybe there is you know maybe there are certain you know behaviors or you know certain things that you do that you're realizing that's not working for you and i feel like you're making some changes here okay so i'm going the three of pentacles in the reverse the judgment card sagittarius energy king of swords in the ace of cups here okay seems like it seems like something's coming to light here yeah whatever this is it seems like you're having like a major awakening here why is the ace of cups here in the lovers okay there's new love in the picture here now it could be someone here that's coming in for a reconciliation okay or it could be you know a past life situation where you guys are picking up where you left off seems like whoever this is this is like a strong soulmate here with the lovers here in judgment uh in judgment Hangman, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here, the Sun, and the Seven of Wands. Could be someone here that's trying to reach out to you, trying to get information, but, you know, it could be a situation that you're blocking this person out. You know, perhaps this is a big business situation that didn't work out. Perhaps this is a rom romantic relationship that didn't work out, you know? But I do feel like whatever this is, I do feel like there is a past situation that's coming back around here. Seven of Cups. And the Fool here, Aries Energy. Tell me about the King of Wands here. And the Four of Pentacles here. So what we have here is I feel like you're keeping to yourself here, Pisces. Yeah, whatever this is, I just feel like you're 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 ready to experience uh, experience new things in your life here, especially with the Fool card and the Seven of Cups. 
you know, this could be indication that, you know, you're just kind of keeping to yourself and doing your own thing here. You know, with the four of pentacles here, you know, there could be, you know, uh, uh, you know, there could be, uh, you know, an energy of, you know, having worries uh, around money or that you're saving money for something here, uh, 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 Pisces. The four of pentacles, you know, justice here, Libra energy. You know, let's say there is like a court situation here that's going on here. I feel like there's a bombshell of kind of like something coming to the surface here that's maybe going to help you in your court case here. We have judgment, you have the justice card, okay? Whatever this is, Pisces, there is something regarding judgment or justice, karmic justice. Something is going in your favor here. Something that did not work out here is turning in your favor. Okay, Libra energy with the justice card. What else do we have here for Pisces? Outcome and advice. What else does Pisces need to know? Look out for, work on here regarding their situations. Okay, let's see. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Three of Wands. This is something that you waited for a long time for. Um, the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces here, Ace of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles here and the Four of Wands. The Five of Pentacles in the, is in the reverse, by the way. Um, uh, the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands. Whatever financial situation that you're going through here, I, I do feel like there's a financial situation, um, or was. It, it, things are turning around here for you. Yeah, things are turning around for you. Things are going to stabilize. You're going to be really happy here, okay? So this message that you're getting here, this long-awaited message, something about some sort of court thing here or some sort of karmic justice here or some sort of judgment that someone is facing here, okay? It's going to completely change your life here, Pisces. Page of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Wands here. And we have Temperance here, Sagittarius Energy. I do feel like there's a lot of guy, a lot of guides and your angels and your ancestors here are in and around you regarding the situation that you're in here. I really do feel like, you know, things are going to balance out here for you. Okay. Whatever this message here, I do feel like this is going to be a really long message. It's going to be like several pages long. Okay. At least like 14 pages, whatever this is. It's going to come in the form of an email, I feel. Okay. The High Priestess. We have the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Wands. We have the Six of Swords. Wow. Uh, you know, I just feel like there's an energy of you becoming really wise here, you know, really tapping into your higher self. I do feel like there's a sense of like moving towards your happiness here. I mean, this could be regarding like an accident at work or a motor vehicle accident or something like that. Um, Maybe it's like a company car. Uh, the Five of Pentacles here in the reverse. With the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, the Four of Wands here. I mean, this could be an indication that, you know, this person that you've been dealing with here is completely obsessed here with you. I mean, this person is like bugging you with messages, but you know, I just feel like there's a sense of moving on and guarding yourself, protecting yourself from this devil energy. Perhaps you were dealing with someone who was like had narcissistic tendencies, was controlling and abusive. But yeah, things are this this message is going to change your life. Things are going to really turn in your favor here, Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.